Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. <laughs> Good morning. You guys are now on live television. It's yeah, approximately 6.45 in the morning, because like I said last time, I'm a piece of shit and I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stay comfortable when you're trying to walk. So as you can see, this coyote comes out in the field, and fortunately we were able to spot it right away and know what was going on. So we were sitting there watching it, and it actually just stood there in the field, probably 500 yards out, and was just looking in our direction trying to figure out what was going on. It actually stood there for a total of five minutes. So it really makes you wonder how many coyotes do this that you don't even know about. Fortunately we were able to see this one and we kind of knew what he was going to do. He ended up... Uh, going into the woods and coming up that way so we knew he was going to pop out somewhere but unfortunately when he did he got a little bit of our scent and he kind of took off and that's why the shot was uh, so rushed but here it is Can you shoot him? Woo! On the right, uh, move out in the field. Woo! 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 Miss. Where was he? Right there. He winded us. Like how far? Like 200. I couldn't even see him and then I think I shot over his head. Were you on him solid? Yeah, but he was kind of like away from me. So I had it like right at the back of his head, kind of. You weren't aiming on him? Yeah, but he was away from me so it was kind of like... Oh, I see on his back then. Yeah. Did you pull off the shot real slow? Yeah. Like the trigger? Yeah. And go take a look. I don't think I hit him, but have a look. I didn't think I hit that one last time we were here, but then we found blood. Yeah. That was, was the same idea. But he came out. Fucking son of a bitch! I thought I didn't even do see that. that fucking thing. No. And then like, you're like, he's right there. Just shoot him. And I'm like, you're like, woo! And I'm like, and then Kevin's like, I can't see him. Well, because he was running away, and I knew he was probably wasn't going to stop when I did it the second time. Because he he popped out like. 30 yards past that little, like, where you see the field divide. Yeah. 30 yards past that straight out, and he just looked up here, and then he turned and started going the other way. So he definitely smelled something. Oh, yeah. so if, if we had been ready when he came out, it would have been, like, yeah, you 150 probably. yards. Yeah. Or so. Well, we just checked out where uh, Kevin shot at one, and it looks like he missed it. The thing came out in the field, like you'll see in the video, and then it cut through the bush, and tried to get up closer to us. Turns out he came out probably 50 yards down the fence line from us and was walking away. He either smelt us or hurt us or something. We just couldn't see it. And then uh, when I finally did see it, he was a little bit further out and Kevin had to jump out into the field and uh, he took a shot at it as it was about to leave and we just checked it out. There's no 
blood, but then we saw another one pop out in the field as we were going down to check, and he took off as well, so it's kind of a bummer. We got a couple more promising spots though, so keep our hopes up. <laughs> Day looks bright still. So. Yeah. It's only 8 o'clock. Hopefully we get one. Well, after this we went and hit a few more spots, and we did end up calling another coyote in. But unfortunately, he caught our wind as well and took off, so we didn't have a very successful day. But that's hunting.